cis-1,4 dye substitution patterns have the methyl groups attached to carbons 1 and 4 of the cyclohexane ring, while cis tells us that both methyl groups are on the same side of the ring. So if we drew a horizontal dotted line through one of the ring carbons, both methyl groups would be either above, up from the line, or below, down from the line. This chair conformation has a methyl group in an equatorial position and a methyl group in an axial position. And when we look to determine any steric strain being present, we find no gauche interactions, but there are two 1,3 diaxial interactions between hydrogen and methyl. Okay, let's ring flip this chair and look at the alternate chair conformation. Now, one of the methyl groups is in an axial position and one in an equatorial position. The methyl group that was in originally in the equatorial position is now in an axial position, and the methyl group that was originally in an axial position is in an equatorial position. But still, both methyl groups are on the same side of the ring. When we look at the steric strain within this alternative chair conformation, we can see that there are no Gauche interactions, but again, we do have two 1,3 diaxial interactions between hydrogen and a methyl group. The two chair conformations of cis 1,4 disubstitution patterns have the same energy. Therefore, they have the same abundance. Let's move from cis 1,4 to considering trans 1,4 disubstitution patterns. The trans here tells us that one methyl group is on the opposite side to the other methyl group in the ring. This means that if we drew a horizontal dotted line through one of the ring carbons, one methyl group would be above, up from the line, the other would be below, down from the line. And as we look at this particular chair conformation, we can see that we have two axial methyl groups. When we seek to identify any steric strain within the conformation, we can find again no Gauche interactions, but four 1 3 diaxial interactions between hydrogen and methyl. Let's, for the last time, ring flip the chair. Okay, here is the alternate chair confirmation. We can see in this confirmation, both methyl groups are equatorial, but still we would have a situation where one methyl group is on the opposite side to the other methyl group in the ring. Let's look for the steric strain that might exist within this conformation. Well, we have no Gauche interactions. I hope you've spotted once we weren't considering 1 2 disubstitution patterns, that's to say, looking at 1 3 or 1 4, there weren't ever any Gauche interactions. But there aren't any 1 3 diaxial interactions either. When we compare, the two chair conformations arising from trans 1 4 diaxial substitution patterns. The first one has a higher energy than the second one. So, therefore, the first one has lower abundance, and the second one, there is a higher abundance of it. 